Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a beautiful day here in Cincinnati. I'm not sure about where you're at. We're having a 75 degree day today. How wonderful is that? I'm really excited about it myself here. Let me pull this up on the computer so that when you hop on, I'd really like it if you'd just say, hey, tell me where you're watching from. There we go. Let me hit that button right there so that the sound doesn't start and sit this over here out of our way. So today what I'm going to do is I've got this, this big old pot of gold. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now I know that's backwards looking to you, but the word is lucky. It says lucky on the front of it. And this is just one of those dollar store wooden cutouts. It's a thin little thing. But I think it's really cute. I think we can do something fun with it today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it. Let me just pull this off of there. And we're going to tilt you down and we're going to get started. So let me step over here for a moment. I don't want to get too much of the computer, so I'm going to zoom you in a bit there so that we see the project. There we go. Let's get that water bottle out of the way. That's my water. That's my drinking water. Okay, and I'm going to turn it around here. Okay, it's a little big, isn't it? Let's try that. That looks much better. That is much, much better. So I am going to be using a Kelly Green, which of course I always joke about it, but it is St. Patrick's, so... Kelly Green, obviously perfect for that, isn't it? I'm going to be using a Kelly Green. I'm going to use a little bit of an Apple Tart Green. I have got my bright metallic gold out here, a little bit of nutmeg, and some black. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to paint the whole background back here with the Kelly Green. bit of that out here and I'm going to use this brush right here just the chip brush and I'm just gonna dip it in here and just start painting this whole bottom the entire cauldron <laughs> pot the whole pot it is like a cauldron but it's a lucky pot of gold I'm gonna paint the whole pot with this Kelly green color. Just bring it right on up to it. I'm not too worried about it getting onto the letters. I'm going to do those letters in a bright gold. And I think that uh, it'll be fine if it's got a little bit of green on the tips of it. I don't think it's going to hurt it at all. Just kind of get that up in between the letters there using the side of my brush. up inside the K here. Now, if I had a really pretty green napkin, I swear I think I would go ahead and just do some decoupage and decoupage on top of the word lucky, because I think that would be really pretty. But unfortunately, I have not found a really pretty uh, St. Patrick's Day napkin yet. And I've kind of looked and I didn't see anything. I saw some green things, you know, but not exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something that had like some clovers on it or little bits of gold that really did look like it was specific for St. Patrick's Day. Not necessarily just something that had a little bit of a green color to it that sort of you could say, well, okay, it's it, it, it does have a buffalo plaid and it is green. You know, I've seen a couple of those, but I wasn't specifically looking for that particular napkin. I wanted something that was more um, truly St. Patrick themed. And I didn't see any. So now I'm thinking to myself, I kind of wish that I had got one ahead and got that, but I thought I would find another one before. But I didn't. <laughs> so sometimes it doesn't pay to say, oh, well, I'll find something different. No, you don't. Sometimes you don't. You just got to get what you find when you find it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we're just about a week out now from, well, a little over a week, actually. It's on the 17th. It'll be on a Thursday, St. Patrick's Day, Will. 
But we are in March now, and we are headed in that direction. We are all things spring. I can feel my allergies already kicking up, guys. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. I've been up sneezing and all kinds of stuff, man. My back's been hurting. I don't know if it's a change in the weather or what in the world's going on. But we just keep on keeping on, don't we? Just got to do what you got to do and just keep moving. Motion is lotion. If you just sit and you do nothing, you will definitely be hurting. I didn't do much of anything yesterday, and oh my, I was hurting yesterday, though. I really was. My back was really pretty sore. Feel better today than I did then. So that's a good thing. It's always a blessing to wake up and feel better than you did yesterday, right? I mean, seriously. Even if you felt great yesterday, if you wake up today and you feel better, you got a blessing. I'm going to grab me a drink of water real quick. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to bring this right up here. I'm just slapping it on here, as you can see. I'm not really being very careful about it. I'm just putting it on. Got to get just a bit more. I'm going to have to use a smaller brush to get in between the letters. That ought to do us. Turn it just a little bit here for me. And get this a little bit darker here in the middle. Right in here. That doesn't look very dark. I'd like it to have a nice solid green color to it. Let me see. Oh, did you guys notice that I can get stars now? Isn't that cool? I think that is so cool. Facebook is offering me other opportunities now. So that's really neat. That that um that makes me feel really good to know that 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 it's easy enough for me to grow this this business that I've got here on Facebook and that they do appreciate the things that I do. They do give you little little rewards and such, like I can get paid for doing my reels. So if you see one of my reels, I would so appreciate it if you just give it a watch. And hey, if you feel so inclined, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. But, you know, I am, if you feel so inclined to send stars. That would be so awesome. Oh, you know, I mean, it's it's just another way to show support. Even if you don't want to purchase kits and paint yourself or something along that line. Okay, so now we've got this all green here, except for in between the letters. So I'm just going to grab this brush right here since I was using it just before. I was working on a birthday card earlier today. that I got done. I thought about doing that as my uh, live today, but too much of a chance that the birthday boy might be watching, so I didn't do it. And you never know. I just made it. And I think he's going to like it. Made that anniversary card earlier this week with the... Uh, the pretty owl from Charlie Harper's Owl using the pastels. If you didn't get a chance to see that, you can go back and watch that. You see, I'm doing a pretty sloppy job here right now. Let me get this in the top of the C. Squish that in there. Rub it in there. But like I said, I'm going to paint this gold. If you can see a little bit of green through the back of it, I'm not even going to worry about that. The words, the lettering, it's going to be gold. Now I'm just scrubbing it in there, guys. Just taking the brush and, and getting it in there as good as I can. All the way around right here. Get that in that little corner. Get this in this corner up here. 
Try to get that one. That one's tricky. Tricky, tricky corner. Okay, and we're going to come down in the top of the K here. Work that in the corner. Work this in the corner. Down into the top of the Y. Okay. In between right in here, I missed a spot up in here. I can see it now. Turn my head a little bit. Get my head in a different direction. You can see where it's missed. And we want to cover the wood, that's for sure. I know I'm going to be putting gold over the top of it, so. But I do want all of the wood to get covered. As sloppy as it can be, isn't it? Well, it just goes to show you guys, hey, nothing wrong with doing something looking a little sloppy. We're still going to make it turn out great. You just wait and see. I'm not even concerned with it looking sloppy. Because I know. It's going to be going to just look great when we're done. I ain't skirt. <laughs> the lettering's certainly showing up better now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's get a little darker green right in there. That looks like that's soaked in pretty good. Right in this little cracked area. It's got a small little... I wouldn't call it a flaw... Just a small little line going down it there. Okay, maybe right there needs a little more. Okay, now I'm just going to rinse this off and I'm going to get my gold out. And I'm going to do all of this in gold and I'm going to paint these letters. Now this gold's a really pretty metallic gold. Where's my... Tissue here, not tissue, paper towel. Okay, and we're going to just get into the gold right here. Ooh, and it's still got a little green in it. That's all right. I'll just put another, here, we'll do this. Now let's put it over in this water and rinse it off real good. There you go, that's better. Hey, Jessica, how are you? I just happened to look up and see that. Thanks for making a comment for me. I know I can be seen and I can be heard that way. Oh. You guys got any big plans this weekend? It's such a pretty, pretty day. You know, we're supposed to go out to eat tomorrow night with, uh, with the in-laws. Today, I think we're probably just going to take Coco to the park and enjoy the beautiful weather. Hopefully, and hopefully my back isn't going to hurt too much. I'm going to put a couple of those little salon paws patches on my back before we take off. I'm just putting a bunch of gold right in here. And even if they've got a little green in the middle, you know what? Sometimes that gold money gets sort of a, a greenish tint to it. So <laughs> that's what we'll say that is. Some of that there funny gold. Funny gold. Here now. All the money's gold at the top here. Get a nice thick layer of that shiny gold on here. Now, you know, once you get them about like this, you could actually say to yourself, okay, well, that looks fine. I don't need to do anything to anything else to it. And, you know, besides paint over the lettering here, and that's fine. And it does. It'll look fine. I'm going to put a couple of coats of gold on here because of the green on the lettering, but that's all right. I'm not worried about that either. But it's got a flat look to it, right? You still need to add shading to this. So we're going to use a little bit of black to add some, some shadows with that dark green. 
and then we'll use a little bit of apple tart to add some highlights. And that'll make all the difference in the way that it looks when we get finished. Yeah, I'd say this is definitely going to take at least two coats to get over top of that green. At least two coats. But that's okay. My nose keeps running. I've had that spring, it's either spring fever, spring weather, freaking allergies, or hopefully I'm not getting cold. Definitely ain't looking for no spring cold. Oh, well, thank you. I see that. Jessica Butch looks nice. Thank you. Kind of messy. I'm doing a messy mess right here, but that's okay because, you know, you just let it dry and you paint over it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to let this dry and we'll put another little coat on top of it. And it's going to look fine. It's got a little bit of green tint around the edges of it. It's okay. We're letting all these gold little gold coins dry up here. And then we're going to take some brown and do a little bit of outlining on it. So that the gold coins have a little bit of depth to them. Just sort of filling this in real quick. Trying not to get it on the green in the background. But trying to get everything covered. There we go. And a little bit more up here. Yeah, it looks pretty gold from your guys' angle. That's what I was thinking. I don't know how gold it looks to you all, but it looks pretty gold over here. Okay, well, while we're waiting on that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here in the water. And we're going to get a little more green out. Come on. Don't need much. And I'm going to get just a little bit of black. There we go. And first I'm going to dip it into the black and just get the tiniest little bit of black on the edge. Flip it over and I'm going to pull some of the green away from the side there. And I'm making just a little, ooh, got a boogie. There we go. I'm making just a little bit of a darker looking green and I'm going to take that and I'm just going to kind of yeah, get that boogie off of there. Bring it around the sides and the bottom of the legs right around the bottom here. Bottom of this leg. Pull it in just a little bit on the side. Around the top of the handle. Right there in between the handle. Get us a little bit more of that color. Turn it this way so I can pull it towards me. And I'm going to just sort of pull this up around the edges here. Here in the middle under the handle. up just a little bit underneath the legs. OK, 
Okay, and around the outside of this handle's top, right around here, we need some of that there. Right around there. And then we're going to have to take it and go. Let me get some more on my brush. Right underneath here, where the lip would be on this. If I got you guys in the light here, see what I'm doing? I'm making a rim around the top of the on the top of the cauldron. So you're just taking your darker green and going right around underneath where that lip would be. Okay. And then you're going to get a little bit more of this darker green. I'll turn it this way and I'm just going to go right along. The top. want it to kind of have a rounded look so we're going to put a little bit here and just a little bit right in there sort of curved okay see how that's looking now we've got some shade going okay so now we're just going to take this put this in the water Back to our gold. Let that stuff dry for a second. Turn this around here. Well, I got gold at the bottom of it, but that's okay. That's just some lucky money, huh? Go back into my gold again. I'm going to go back over the ladders. thicker this time. Let me get a little more gold. That'll be plenty. Okay, we're gonna pat it in here. Kind of want it to have a sort of a thick, chunky kind of look to it, so I'm just kind of dropping it in globs. Okay, there we go. Just sort of thickening it there. Now that's gonna take it a little bit to dry because I'm, I'm leaving it with like, I want it to look chunky like how we do with snow, just chunking it up. Some chunky looking gold on here so that when the light hits it on the front door in different angles, It'll reflect it in different ways. And not only that, I'm hiding the green a little bit. Just a little bit. Because it sure ain't wanting to be hid. But like I said, it's okay. We aren't worried about it. It's all going to look great when we get done. Top, right in there at that edge, right along down through here. All down the bottom of here. I 
know if you guys can see how, how it looks chunky like that. I have to turn it and hold it up for you in a second here. See if you can tell it. Hey, Steve, hi. Thank you for saying something for me there. I appreciate that. Always appreciate any comments. Any comments at all. Okay, let's get a little more. About to use all that gold up, which is good. I hate to leave any on my palette that doesn't get used. It's like, well, I wasted paint. This way, if you use it all, you don't feel like you wasted it. It got used up. Waste not, want not. <laughs> okay. And just add a little up here. All right. See how it's thick and chunky kind of looking? It'll take it a couple of minutes to dry, but that's all right. I'm not worried about it drying. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to rinse my brush off a little bit. Get out a little bit of this apple tart. Not much of it because it's just going to be little highlights. So I'm going to take that, get a little bit of apple tart on here, and I'm just going to go right across the top of there. little bit of a curve right here on this end. And the same thing right here, just a little bit of a curve. Okay. And we're going to take our apple tart I'm going to touch that in the middle, make sure I ain't got no gold on my fingers, and I'm just going to put a line right at the top of the handle. Right at the top of that handle. Coming down the side. Top on the leg there, a little top on the leg here, a little bit right in here. Trying to make sure my fingers haven't got the green on them now to touch the gold. <laughs> make just a line coming up the side right there. See how that makes it pop? Just adding a little bit of shading. And then you add a little bit of highlights to it. Makes such a big difference, doesn't it? I'm trying to decide if I should put a little spot right here coming around. Let me put it down. Just at the bottom of the cauldron. The lucky pot of gold. There we go. I think that's about all it needs to it. As far as that part. Well, you could put a little one right here. Just very lightly.
There, now the whole top looks like it's got a nice rim to it. So now we've got that decorated. Gonna rinse this off. Get us out a little bit of brown. Take the brown. Ooh, I got something in it right there. What's that? Icky, get it out. Okay. I'm gonna take the brown and we're just gonna come right here to this and we're gonna make this coin. Just come around like that. I'm not gonna worry too much about them being perfect. Make this coin come right around like this, and then there'll be a coin that kind of just curves back in here this way. This coin can go around right here. Look, another coin right there. We're not going to worry too much about this either because we're going to do little highlights on these too. So this will come down and around because you don't see all the coins. They're shading back in there. Just making little curved areas. The coins at the top are kind of standing up. But the rest of the coins that are in there are all just sort of laying down. Bring them up and around right there. And then this one come over here. Bring another one right across down there. Gonna make it brown at the bottom here. We'll have a coin going across right there. Another coin edge here. Now we've just got some shaded kind of half circles is what's going on in there. Leprechauns are very, very cantankerous about their gold. You don't want to get caught messing with that, huh? Okay. Now we got some piles of gold sitting in there. See how the coins look now? They look a little bit different. We're going to take a little bit of the gold with a touch of the brown. sort of get a little bit of a highlight just in the middle of the coin Ooh, a little too brown there. There, that's better. Just putting a little spot in them. Now that kind of shaded them up just a little bit. Feeling kind of lucky, huh? Looking kind of cute. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, so now 
All we gotta do is give a little bit of black for shade. So for that, we're gonna use a totally different brush. We're gonna get our little brush out. And we'll just go right here. down the side. Try to make sure I'm not going to touch nothing here. Just a little bit under the L. Under the bottom of the K. side okay so now that is just so that from a distance you see that that stands out just a little bit better from a distance it helps break the letters up <coughs> excuse me thought I was gonna start sneezing there for a second I still might okay now we're gonna add just a little bit of dark shade. So at the bottom of the handle. Right underneath the top. The bottom of this leg. The bottom of that leg. There in the middle, like a little smiley line. <laughs> Just like a little smiley line there. A little bit right here. Right here. Let me put it right there. Black on my brush. Still want to touch that gold. But we're going to put some right here along the bottom of that little apple tart line. You just add little bitty black lines in different spots. Gonna add a little bit right underneath these letters. Gonna give it contrast and shading. Now see how the letters stand out even more? And all I 
I can do, I can add a little more to it and make it pop even more by just making these lines right here. See, that's why I wasn't so worried about where the green was going, because I knew that I could just keep adding on to this, and you can make it pop more and more and more. Take this and go right down that middle right there. Bring this right down here. Get right on the inside of there. Okay. Now it stands out even better. See what a difference that makes? Just using the black around the lettering on that from a distance, how much better that actually stands out, okay? So very simple little things that you can do to make things really stand out better. So let's just take this here. Let me get this a little thinner. And we're just gonna go around the bottom of the little coins. Just lightly around the bottom edge of it. And you don't have to worry about your coins being perfectly round. You're not worried about that. We just want to give it a little bit of a curve so that it gives the indication of it laying down here on its side. And these guys are all standing up. But you can still see a little bit of their edges. See how that helps bring the coins out a little bit more? And you can still see that there's plenty of gold back in there. Other little coins standing out. And you could actually even make other little coins by just doing little indications of lines. And all I'm doing is just making little curved like little J's. Yeah, <laughs> little J's. Put a few here. There could be one right in there. some black right along the top. And there now. I think that that looks pretty good, guys. I don't think I'm going to do too much more to it. I kind of like how it looks at this point. I think it's time to add it a... Well, I know what one thing we could do. Get my little brush. We'll get this apple green. And we'll 
chest. I'm going to make four little hearts all coming together here. Two going this way. Just to dress it up a little bit. Not that it wasn't fancy. Because we had done a pretty fancy job. But just for a little more fun. Why not, huh? Why not? Let's add a clover to it. right out of there. There we go. Now, get a smidgen of the dark green. Oh, I've already got some dark green right there. I don't need a smidgen of the dark green out. I already got dark green out. Stop and look, yes. And then I just put the dark green line right down the middle of each of the little clovers. I don't want to touch this black up here. Gonna kind of add a little bit of shade right there next to it. Get into the black. Get a little shading next to it. Just around the edge here. I'm gonna get another little drop of black because that's kind of wanting to drag it and I don't want to drag it, I want it to flow. And there we go. There, now that. Made it just a little bit better, don't you think? Just add a little lucky four-leaf clover to it. So I think at this point, all I'm going to do is get me some beautiful gold. I've got this gorgeous gold ribbon right here that I haven't used for anything. I wish I had something that looked like a, um, like a rainbow, because that would be really pretty, like rainbow ribbon that you could tie across the top so it looked like a rainbow. But that's okay. We're going to use this. If, if I can open it. Let me see here. Can I get this underneath it? A little piece of plastic that's wrapped around it. I keep hearing cocoa creeping up here, I think. 
There we go. That worked. There's my scissors. I was going to say, where did I put my scissors? Oh, goodness, that hurt. <sighs> Got to be mindful of what I'm doing with my back here. Okay. Push this right down through that hole if I can. I know what I can do. Where's that thing I was just using? Ooh, it's got sparkly coming off of it. That's neat, though. Tie this in a knot back here. If I can see over the sparkly stuff and the lights... Get out of the way. Maybe better double knock this fella. Okay, I think I could cut off about this much, and that would be more than enough. Kind of put that on top of there and take my little stick and poke it down through the hole. Maybe. Okay. Get the sparkly stuff out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. That is bright with the lights up here. That is very bright looking. Very sparkly. I'm double knotting it so that it doesn't come loose. Now it's got a beautiful sparkly gold ribbon on the top of it that I can hang on the door. And then let's just take this don't want it to be too big. Pretty bow for it. Let's get some of our hot glue and we can glue that right onto right here. That's a little long. Put it right like that. Or I could even glue it right here in the middle of it. A pretty little gold bow. And there we have it.
And I'm all done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, Carol. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. I see you there. I appreciate that. Thank you for the comment. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, yep. That's what we're going to do with it today. I'm going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to glue that little gold bow right on the front. And I'm going to go hang it on the door. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Bye.